like to create a whole environment that immerses the viewer. I'm not trying to um, recreate a place down to you know scale or to exactness because why do that? I mean it becomes more like Disneyland if you do that. There's no reason to to exactly recreate a place but rather to bring something else to it the capture the mood or the essence of the place and the people. I was doing sculptures that were covered on the outside and inside with black and white um, collage. And this piece, most of the collage disappears and it takes on more of a realistic place and story. This is influenced by Psycho. There's this, um, where the, the kind of crazy um, motel keeper lives. There's a little hole in the wall. There's little clues all over, like under the mattress in here is a kind of altered Bible. Um, <laughs> this is, these are the clues kind of about the, the um, motel keeper and some images. In this room where a murder was supposed to happen, there's an image of the woman. With my work, one of the things that I'm also exploring is the question of what's real, what's reality. Reality is only many different people's perceptions. Scale can constantly change and the, the image can mutate and I think this speaks to our view of reality and what's real. The facade on the front is of a house and it's two-dimensional, but it appears to be three-dimensional. And the room has forced perspective. There's a mirror in the back that reflects another image, so it looks like it goes back much further. This series was about what you see isn't always what's there. You can see a nice, pretty house driving down the street, but who knows what's really going on inside. And it's like that in life, too. There's no black and whites really. This is called I Don't Know Who I Am Anymore. It's different characters that Sean Penn has done. Kind of describing how each of us has different people inside of us, different characters we put on, different masks. I've used video a lot in my sculptures. I think it gives another layer of the story that's going on. Um, if you use small figurines, it almost becomes like something trite or, you know, a little toy. But I like the idea of putting real people into my sculptures. What I really am trying to do when I go explore a place is to just take in what I see and then to let it come out of me and present it without too much judgment. I think people are more alike than we wanna than we wanna think. And um, if if we could get to that place where we could see where people meet instead of the differences, then it'd be a lot easier to get along in this world. So this is like what I do. I'll I'll go on the internet and print up images. There's going to be a, the Wigwam Motel with a bunch of teepees, like they have this in Arizona. And then there's going to be a souvenir shop here, probably some other Native American stuff. In the Southwest, there's, I mean, it's really interesting. It's just kind of a cliche of Native American, like, tchotchke stuff. It's a little disturbing, but then it's also like when you're a child and you're going through, um, you know, on a, on a road trip, it's really cool. You want to see all the Native American stuff. I think 
People are attracted to my work for a few different reasons. Um, one is that people want to be a voyeur. They don't have the opportunity in real life to go explore um, various places. Maybe they're afraid to. But in my work, they can peek into the strip club and see what's going on um, without any consequences. I leave my work open enough so that it's usually not a specific place. Once in a while it is, but often it's a, a liquor store that could be where you grew up, where I grew up. So it speaks to people in different ways. My sculptures and my environments that I create are somewhat like small films in that there's a set and there are people, there's things going on, there's a story. And this has um, got me thinking more about making actual films. So this is a new direction that I'm taking to think about and how much of my art do I want to put in the film? Do I want to have small scale? Do I want to stick to large scale? It's just a whole new, um, new art medium that I'm thinking about and I'm really excited about. Um, I like the idea of exploring new mediums that aren't necessarily comfortable and and are fresh and a little scary and exciting. I think that's when, um, when real magic happens and when you get a chance to grow and learn.